Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to be talking about Azure Security Center de detection and defense capabilities. So in the previous videos I have showed you um, prevention and also gave you an uh, overview of the Se Azure Security Center. So uh, let's get started with the just-in-time VM access. So uh, what is, so if I ask you what is the most, um, most detected threat in um, in Azure, uh, in Azure environments, it will be the DDoS attacks. So the D uh, there's thousands of thousands of D DDoS attacks that's happening against um, Azure public-facing um, endpoints, and um, yeah, that's that's the nature of it. And um, we need to come up with uh, ways to prevent it. So this Azure Security Center just-in-time VM access is one of the ways of uh, uh, tackling that uh, exposure to the ex external access. So what this provides is um, um, instead of um, instead of um, having the management um, VMs exposed to the internet 24/7, uh, this gives you the ability to um, lock it down, keep it protected all the time, and request access whenever you want. So you can get access uh, for a few hours, and then it will automatically close down all the ports exposed to the internet, and then it will uh, not leave the virtual machine outside, uh, so that ha ha hackers can actually attack the uh, external facing surface. So it is a really cool feature. So uh, it will, if uh, so, Azure Security Center will actually um, do the monitoring of your environment. It will suggest that um, these are the virtual machines that can have um, just-in-time VM access enabled. So it recommends you these VMs and then if you configure uh, just-in-time VM access, what it will do is it will configure it with just-in-time VM access and then as an as a administrator, you can come in here and then we can request access to this VM. When you request access, you can configure like how many hours of access you want uh, according to the policy that you configure and uh, what ports you want it to open and uh, what's the IP, what's the source IP ranges that you're gonna be, um, uh, uh, that you're gonna be opening it or uh, that you're gonna be connecting on. So uh, based on the IP addresses, uh, I'm, uh, that I'm gonna give it three, I three hours and then my IP address and uh, I'm gonna be opening up on 3389. So that's how we request VM access and then if you try um, connect to the virtual machine afterwards, then you can connect to the virtual machine. So that's the cool feature called just in time VM access, and that protects you from uh, uh, from the hackers getting into those ones. And the next is the uh, application adaptive application control. So uh, malware is another uh, biggest issue uh, that we have in Azure environment. So uh, because they are ever evolving, it's so hard so to keep up to date with the anti-malware solution. So it's a cat and um, rat race that that has between anti-malware and malware. Malware. So malware is the hackers basically uh, they they deviate that existing malware and then introduce a new malware and then uh, anti-malware needs to provide a new signature in order to prevent that. And that's always a, there's always a delay between those two, and there could be um, vulnerabilities uh, within those delays that uh, um, that an anti malware solution provides a solution for that. So uh, the Microsoft Security Center, Azure Security Center, provides this new feature called Adaptive Application Control, which is a different way of tackling that same same um, behavior or same threat. Um, so what it does is it whitelists all the applications that and services running in your servers, and it uh, it creates a baseline of services that's allowed in your environment, and then uh, you have the ability to fully manage the uh, the whitelist or the applications that's allowed, and uh, keep control of what what processes to run uh, within your environment. So this way, uh, uh, this way, like. Um, you know, like any anti malware or any other untrusted applications that this, uh, that is, uh, um, like if someone wants to run an untrusted application, then they won't be able to run it. Uh, it controls, so um, app control controls the applications that's run within the servers. And um, yeah, that, that way you are having your environment more secure than uh, being uh, preventive uh, from anti malware. So, like like I said, it's it's again uh, it will uh, Azure Security Center will uh, monitor your environment. It will recommend um, 
servers to enable this um, unfortunately I don't have anything in my environment right now but it will monitor all the processes it will uh, first of all it will go through auditing phase rather than bo blocking any applications and then that will give you uh, management capabilities to create a baseline what services you want to run in in the environment and then uh, push out the uh, policies and then you can go into a uh, prevention mode so that you can stop uh, other services being running so that's those are the uh, defense capabilities that's introduced in the security center uh, let's talk about the detection so <coughs> Azure uh, security center detection capabilities they are powered by um, Azure um, Azure uh, intelligence service as well where uh, it looks at security for uh, Sky for Business, um, your Xbox Live, and etc., which is uh, which is a fully scalable, globally distributed cloud application. So, um, so this global threat intelligence um, uh, within Microsoft, um, they they are aware of all the security threats that are happening globally, and they feed that information into into the Microsoft um, uh, security center as well. So security center uses machine learning and all these uh, intelligence data and also it does the behavioral um, analytics as well um, and then it gives you alerts based on this on the previous behavior as well uh, which which is uh, which is not bombarding your email accounts or anything it is very intelligent it is uh, it's it's prompting only the alerts that are critical for you um, so in in this case, I have simulated some um, alerts, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at um, some of the alerts and and the behavior of it. Um, so these alerts, um, the good thing about it is like you can go into an investigation part. So here I have created a suspicious um, process, and uh, it has highlighted to me that there was this command line that was executed, which is a, a suspicious process. Um, and the username who executed it, etc. So you can go into an investigation part uh, where it will show you which server it, uh, created in a uh, in a graphical interface, and uh, very intuitive. So this is the server name, and this is the thread that was detected. This is the user account that uh, actually triggered that uh, that uh, that activity. So if you look into this, there are a few few user accounts that are involved in this server. Uh, but uh, actually this user is the one that is connected with this activity so it gives you very uh, intuitive way of uh, having that attack and uh, also all the information like um, like the virtual machine name and um, and also all the information like when it happened and etc they all listed in here also um, some brute force attacks that is detected on this server which is a public facing server um, so it it has detected the brute force attacks on this port and um, this this source IP address and etc. So uh, you can go into again uh, the investigation path. Um, let's have a look at a, s a previous error. Um, a similar brute force attacks. Um, <coughs> unfortunately, the uh, the investig investigation path is not available at this time but usually it does provides you the same investigation path uh, with a with a GUI uh, that shows you where the attack came from and etc which is pretty good so that's the, the detection capabilities and this way it provides you the most attack resources in your environment so that's this one this VM is actually um, leading um, with the two alerts that it has and apart from that it gives you a summary of uh, of your detection capabilities so that's all um, all the security centers out of this in uh, in this video um, and we'll talk about the um, uh, the extendability of uh, security center and also automation side of things in the next video thanks for watching this video